Hello, in this video we'll be covering the Excel workbook destination. Uh, the Excel workbook destination is a destination uh, or a target uh, in Centerprise. It's used to write data to a specific location. Uh, like all targets, it has ports on the left side here uh, and also has ports on the right side so that you can use this as an uh, intermediate stop uh, before moving on to subsequent destinations or transformations. Um, it also can be used to create a brand new Excel file uh, or update an existing one. And I'll show you how to, to choose between the two when I cover the options. Uh, so to use the Excel workbook source, I'm sorry, destination, uh, I'm going to go ahead and show you with a brand new data flow. So here we have a source uh, reading records from an Excel uh, table, I'm sorry, from a SQL table. Uh, and here's what my data set looks like and I'm going to map a, a subset of this data onto and create a new Excel file. So I'm going to go to the toolbox, look for under the destinations, and drag and drop the Excel workbook destination onto the diagram. Uh, right away you'll see I have a yellow box indicating the destination. If I expand it you'll see that I have the tree with nothing under it except the new member uh, placeholder. So the first thing I'm going to want to do is configure the properties for this destination. So I can either double click or right click and select the properties. Uh, this first screen is just is uh, Excel specific and the first thing I need to do is uh, set the file path. So I'm going to go ahead and click on the open file path dialog or save file path dialog I should say. And I'm going to write to this out.xls file. And we can write to XLS or Excel, actually not pictured here, but you can also write to the Excel uh, SX, ec the brand new Excel 2007 and 2010 formats. So I'm going to go ahead and click Save, click Replace, yes. Um, and now I'm ready to write to this file. So other, the other options are the first row contains header, worksheet, and append the file if exists. The first row contains header uh, looks just like what it looks like, uh, does what just like what it looks like. It creates a header row if there is not one. So for example, I'm going to leave this checked, and when I do that, I actually have to close this, I have it open. That's one thing to keep in mind, You'll, you may get an error message saying it's being used by another process, and if you do get that error message, it's because uh, the worksheet is currently open. Centerprise cannot work with a worksheet or, uh, or the workbook if it's opened uh, by Excel. So I'm going to click OK, and I'm just going to map everything. In this case, do an auto map, and now I've created the layout. Um, so now that I've done that, and I want to run it. And here you'll see the job progress at the bottom. Uh, here, if I click here, it'll show me how many records I've written. And now I'm going to open that file. And here you see I have 10, 12 records uh, with various data uh, in the rows. And the very first row in the Excel is my header. And this came directly from the layout from the Excel destination. So if I uncheck this and click OK and close this, and now right again. I'm going to go ahead and pin this here and now open it again. You'll see that I do not have the header row anymore and that's what that option is all about. The other option, uh, worksheet, just lets me rename my worksheet. By default it says sheet 1. I'm going to rename it to uh, my worksheet. And I'm also going to append to the file if it exists. So what this means is it's if, it, if uh, it, you'll be able to add to the file without destroying any other worksheets in the workbook. If you do not have this checked, it will uh, destroy the workbook and create a brand new XLS file. So I'm going to go ahead and leave this checked and click OK. And now run this again. And now open the file again. 
and here you'll see that actually I have Excel desk because that's where I left it. That's the uh, old data I wrote, and now I have my worksheet. Uh, so now you'll see that I have two uh, twenty. The first run, which gave me the, uh, wor which wrote it to this default Excel desk one, and the second run, which when I changed the worksheet, changed it to my worksheet. Um, so the next screen on the properties is the layout screen. The layout screen is, is more important than the source layout if this was an Excel source because with an, with an Excel source file you pretty much want the layout to match whatever it is you have in the destination. Uh, many times when you're creating a brand new Excel file uh, you want to create the layout within this layout screen. So for example I do not want some of, I don't want the detail ID so I'm going to delete this one. I'm going to delete product ID and a couple of other columns as well. And in fact, I'm going to rename some of these to quantity. And you'll see that I did that in both the name and the header columns. Uh, and in case this is uh, new to you, the name is different than the header in that the name is the center prize name and it adheres to strict variable naming. Uh, policies. So you can't start these with a number and you can't have spaces with them and a couple of other rules about what the name can be. As opposed to what the header column is the human readable format and this can be in any uh, format. And then we have the data type which is uh, not that important for the destination but if you are passing this you know along, along uh, through subsequent transformations uh, and you need to do some sort of ad addition or you want to be able to preserve the layout that you're getting from the source, you can just leave this uh, to as, as what you got from the source. Or but you can change them to all strings if need be. Uh, I'm going to go ahead and leave them as what I got from the source, in this case integer string, integer, the intrinsic uh, center prize data types. Uh, format, since this is an Excel file, I don't, you don't have to worry about format. I just say that I'm writing to a date and Excel will write this to a date if I have one. Uh, allows null and default value, uh, really not important. And the description is just for uh, uh, just for documentation purposes. So this is uh, one way to set up the layout. Uh, I can also build the layout uh, through the diagrams, when I showed you when I just auto mapped. I just clicked here, dragged, and all of the, the, the columns were automatically created just by doing performing the auto map. So if you need to change any sort of columns within the Excel file, this is where to do it. So I can move things around, up and down, and by changing this, this will also change the sequence and affect which column it'll show up on in the in Excel destination. Uh, and that's it for uh, Excel writing options. Thank you very much.